<laughs> Robert Frank's <laughs> final game at Beasley Coliseum, and he goes into the stands to say thank you to the fans who got to watch him go out in one spectacular finishing effort. Although the Cougs came up short, Oregon State with a win in Pullman, and Oregon State clinches a first round by the top four seed in the Pac-12 tournament in Las Vegas next week, and they did it, particularly in the first half, on the strength of Trace Tinkle. He got it. He, he got it going late. He started off slow guy, but I tell you what, when he got it going, he got it going big time, and he showed why he's in contention for Pac-12 Player of the Year. Trace Tinkle flat out put on the show in that first half. He had 26 points overall. He had 12 rebounds. It was the second half that belonged to Stevie Thompson Jr. This senior just stepped up and played like a senior. You know, he didn't force anything. He took what was there. I thought a few times he wasn't shooting the three ball well, so he decided to put it on the floor and attack the basket. And Stevie Thompson had a great second half for Oregon State. 18 points in the second, 26 points overall for Stevie. By the way, his brother Ethan had 17 and 11 assists. And then there was Robert Franks, who had a career-high 37 points <laughs> and eight threes. Senior day, he went out with a bang. He went out with the guns loaded, and boy, was he firing 37 big points. He was fun to watch this year. And if Washington State could have played a little bit better, I think he would be in the conversation for player of the year as well. Cougars will be the 11th seed, and it'll be a dangerous 11th seed for whoever is looking at the tape and watching this one to figure out how to slow down Robert Franks. 37 for him. Meanwhile, Thompson and Tinkle each with the 26 points. And... Uh, for C.J. Ellaby, six points, but he did have 12 rebounds. So Oregon State, a first round by the Cougs, the 11 seed. We'll see them all in Vegas next week. It's a wrap, folks. All right. <laughs>